Here we are again with the Univega. This is completely stripped down, ready to be cleaned and sanded down, getting it prepared for primer and paint. That's what I'm gonna be doing in this video is getting this thing cleaned up, do my light sanding enough to get these logos removed and get the paint kind of smooth and ready for primer. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's get into it. At some point during the sanding process, I realized just lightly sanding it wasn't going to be enough. After many hours of work, I eventually had it fully stripped down to bare metal. And I think this will give the best results when applying the paint.
Okay, I just gotta stop right here in the normal video and just say, this next step I am extremely nervous about. I've got my multiple coats of paint and I've got my 2K clear coat on here, but the problem with a lot of these clear coats and my experience of applying any kind of clear coat, which is very minimum, you can get orange peel. And what that is, is if you're familiar with like drywall and stuff, it kind of looks like a rough texture. And I'm not sure what causes that because I don't have a lot of experience with painting uh, when it comes to bike frames or really much of anything other than a wall. So I'm going to have to wet sand with this 2000 grit sandpaper and try to smooth this out. This is a standard practice. Uh, I've watched a lot of videos on how to do this. So I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope this works. Yeah, I might hold my breath this entire time. Let's get to it. Here you go. What do you guys think of the Univega now? This thing has totally transformed. I have learned so much in this restoration process from how to mask things appropriately so paint will stay where paint needs to stay and it won't go where it doesn't need to go to the different types of paint out there. I've been super impressed with the Montana cans spray paint. I plan on doing a full newbies thoughts and review on on that particular paint compared to regular say Krylon paint that you can get up at Lowe's or your local hardware store. I do think it is significantly different and I really enjoyed it. All the way to that 2K clear coat which is extremely impressive and uh, something that I plan on using on more of the bikes that I want to restore in the future. So let me know what you guys think of the paint job. This was a ton of fun. I estimated that I probably have around 20 hours of total time spent from the time of acquiring the bike to designing the logos, to getting them cut out on the Cricut, to picking out the paint, stripping down the bike, painting and everything all the way to this stage. So there's a lot of time that goes into something like this. There are a few things that on my next bike, I plan on doing a little bit different. Um, but all in all, I am very, very pleased with how this turned out. I can't be disappointed at all. It looks amazing. 
This bike from 1987 probably had no idea that it was ever going to look this cool. I love the two-tone different colors and with the orangish yellow up front with this little stripe. Man, it just, it's really coming together. I can't wait to throw some parts on that. And that's what I'm gonna do in the next video. I hope you guys stick around. If you guys like this, give it a thumbs up. That really helps push it around into the algorithm so other people can see this restoration. And uh, if you don't mind, share this with your friends and family, anybody who might enjoy it. Maybe post it out on your social media. Just giving the chance for this video to go out there for people to see. I would greatly appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this. Do you guys have any questions on the process that I went through? Even though you just watched the video, some of the parts probably aren't there that you might have questions on because I can't fit them all in the video. And if you do have questions, put them down in the comments below because I love answering them. But as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one. Turned out real nice, Univega. Can't wait to put some parts on ya.